Hey folks, it is Mechangelic Descending once again to bring you, actually, a Transformers review this time. Isn't it amazing? Um, we're currently trying a different setup. You can see some of my Revenge of the Fallen stuff back there. Um, you probably can't pick out a whole lot, but Twins, Rampage, whom I hate, Chromia, etc., etc., um... I'll pan up here real quick as well. We've got another shelf of just random stuff that I have on display. Marvel's Legends, uh, Transmetal Megatron, which I will review at some point. New Iron Man, love Iron Man. Okay, anyway, shutting up now. We're going to be taking a look at a Revenge of the Fallen figure. And I know I said that I wasn't ever going to do any of the Revenge of the Fallen figures, but I lied. So, uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at this guy. Revenge of the Fallen Blaze Master. Um, horrible name. It, you know, it's a news helicopter. You can clearly see it says Channel 7 Action News. But he is Blaze Master. So I like to think of him as a uh, Blades Kind of, you know, it's fitting, you'll see it in the robot mode. Um, anyway, let's just get on with taking a look at him. He's this nice kind of frosty gold, and yes, I'm going into the colors because this will be prominent in robot mode, and we'll talk about that momentarily. Gold, white, navy blue, but I'm very, very careful whenever I mess with this guy because he is gold plastic and I'm always afraid that I'm going to break him. He's kind of spindly as it is, but, you know, whatever, it's Hasbro. Nice clear blue windows, and if you can see just there, I don't know if you can make it out, you can kind of see it. That is his head. But, you got nice little landing gears, a lot of white here on the bottom, and all of these will Doesn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to flip away, but I can't make it flip away right now. Um, we'll deal with that later. But they do flip away so he can fly around, and he's got this rotor here, but it doesn't move. Then, as we've gotten on all of the copter formers in the last few years, push button, rotor blade, action. Not bad. Not really a whole lot to the uh, alt mode here. It's nice, but there's not really a whole lot to it. So we're going to go ahead and get him into robot mode, and I'm going to have to shut this off to transform him because this guy is a bitch to transform. I'll be right back. back and doesn't he look nice yeah lots of gold through here and down here on the legs and all through yeah this is what I thought we were going to have but I guess that's what I get for thinking that's what he is now Hasbro has been known for changing a lot of stuff in the past but this is bad it honestly in my opinion I mean the figures good I really like the figure I like the mold and everything it is kinda loose kinda wobbly but color wise they really screwed the pooch on this I mean even on the card you know they promise you these nice silver blades here and you got fully painted gold shins up into the blue joints here to match the rest of the motif and all that very very little white except for maybe here and on the shoulder joints but you actually get the figure in hand and it's a hell of a lot more white I mean you could blatantly see where these landing gears are they could have at least 
done those in blue, easily done those in blue. I mean, I guess I'm just nitpicking. It is a deluxe size figure, so, you know, what can you really expect? But they completely reversed the color scheme on the head, which I really like the original. Even the bubble, um, the art on the bubble had the, where is it, main gold with the black mask, blue eyes. This is a blue head with a gold mask and blue eyes. I mean, I wouldn't have been so frustrated with it if they would have uh, changed some stuff on the card, like if they would have changed the art for it. I wouldn't have cared. I mean, I think it looks good by itself. If you had never seen the card for this figure, it looks good. I really like it. Um, there are some glaring flaws, and I'm going to point those out here in a second, but, you know, there's just something about this guy that kind of irks me, and I have taken some liberties with the transformation simply because how they show it to do in the instructions and all that really don't look good. I kind of leave these up instead of laying them flat like it tells you to. But, let's get on to the figure itself. It's got these nice chicken legs, and in case you guys weren't aware of it, I love chicken legs on a Transformer. I don't know why, but I like spindly legs that are uh, double jointed here, you know, go back and then down. I just absolutely love that. Um, one of the big flaws I have with this figure is this right here, these sections that are the cockpit of the the helicopter they're real loose until you actually get the windows put up and I have I have mine set down real real low here as compared to what it tells you to because they're just so floppy that they're that they kinda you know get in the way the arms you really don't have a hand this is just the top section of the helicopter kinda folded up with a little white you can see it better from the back a little white finger kind of lodged in there but they did put a decent amount of detailing in here you can see those spindles or whatever back up in there and you know it's altogether not that bad um, another fault that I have with it are the blades on the arms see this set just kind of pegs in there just it's not even really a peg. You kind of just have this little slot back here that half of the rotor section fits in. And the other side is loose and floppy because the mechanism's over here. And it will still spin, but it's kind of out of balance. And these will flop around a lot while you're moving it. These kind of just sit there. It has this big glaring empty fuel tank or whatever you want to call it there on the side, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But all in all, I personally like the figure, mostly for its faults. It's one of the only main figures in the Revenge of the Fallen line that I really, really love for its faults. I've found that the Revenge of the Fallen line is either you love it or you hate it, and this is one of the ones that is kind of in the mid-ground for me. So, it's pretty nice. It's not blatantly out there that I hate it like Rampage or uh, Starscream, because I do hate the Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. But it's not just absolute love like I have for Stratosphere or Chromia or the Twins. But, oh, well, if, if you see it, if you have the money, pick it up. But if you don't necessarily like the uh, flawed transforming copter that he is, I, I wouldn't recommend you spending the money. I love copter formers, so I picked him up. But if you're not into that kind of thing... You can pass on it. I'm rambling at this point. So I'm going to get out of here. See ya.